The bubble sorting algorithm is a very common algorithm which is used in programming. And what the, the bubble sort algorithm does is that it gets a bunch of numbers and what it does is that it sorts it out from smallest to largest. So if we have, say for example, an array of numbers that we want to sort with a bunch with a bunch of with a bunch of data in it with a bunch of numbers, uh, what it, what it will do, what the bubble sort algorithm will do is that it will it will it will it will, it will look into that into that array and it will sort out each number from smallest to largest till the very end. So the disadvantage of using bu a bubble sort algorithm is that it's not it's not commonly used in like large data elements. It's actually used in very in very smaller data elements. There are be there are better algorithms to 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 use if you want to sort large data elements. But in this in this video today, I'm only going to be explaining what the bubble what the bu bubble sort algorithm is and how we can create it in C++. So it will, if we have if we, if we have a small bunch of numbers, it might take multiple tries to, to sort it from from smallest to largest. Let's go into the PowerPoint slide to see to see some diagrams on, on how it's used, and then I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a full code implementation in C++ on how the bubble sort algorithm is implemented in C++. So in this example diagram here, we've got an example of an array of five numbers, and the numbers are five, one, four, two, eight. So what's going to happen in the first pass is that, as you can see in my in my diagram here, it's going to compare the first two elements. So it's going to check five and one. So it's going to swap. Uh, it's going to swap. It's going to swap it so one goes first and then five comes second, and then it's going to keep going. If you look at this, if you look under my mouse cursor, we've got five and four. It's going to swap that again because four because five is greater than four, so that, so four needs to go first. And then it's going to go again. Here we are on the third line. It's going to swap five and two because because two because two is less than five. And then again, uh, we've got since five is less than eight, they don't need, they don't need to be swapped. So we're just going to continue. And then it's going to go through a second pass. So on so in the second line here, we've got four and two. It's going to swap four to two and four because since four is greater than two, that that needs to be swapped. And then it's it looks everything looks like everything is fine, and then it just needs to do one more check to make sure that the array is sorted and to confirm that the, that it's all can be completed with one whole pass. Hence why we have a third pass to make sure that everything is completed and everything has been sorted from smallest to largest in within the bubble sort algorithm. So here we are inside Visual Studio where we have implemented the bubble sort algorithm in C plus plus. So here we have two, we have two variables here. We've got the int hold button. So that's gonna that's gonna hold the variable that's that's gonna be swapped. And then we've got an array here. So we've got an array called bubble here, and that's gonna that's gonna store the numbers that we enter in that, that are gonna be swapped. So so if we go if we look over here, we're doing a for loop here to go from from numbers from numbers one to five. So that's going to be reading in the numbers that, that the user inputs with the with the cin, uh, with, with the cin um function that we use inside C plus plus to read in the numbers being entered in, and then what it's going to do is that after we've after that we've entered in the numbers that we want to swap, uh, we are going to display the original values that were entered in. So we've so we're going to app so we're going to output what was what was in, what was entered in with with an array. Uh, using C out to print it out, and then this is where the, this is the nitty, the nitty gritty part. So this is where we begin the actual bubble the, the actual bubble sorting algorithm here. So we're doing a we're doing a for loop here again, and then we're going inside an, another for loop again to to start sorting the numbers from smallest to largest. So so we're going to be getting the we're going to be getting what's in the array. And then we're going to be checking. We're going to be using an if statement to see whether whether it's whether we're going to be starting starting to sort from smallest to largest. So it's going to be going if j is greater than than j plus one, then it's going to swap the elements over here. So this is where we're doing where we're actually swapping the elements here, as you can see in lines number thirty five to thirty seven here. So this is where we're we're doing the where 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 we're applying the hold variable here, uh, which we declared up 
top, at the at the top, at the very top on line seven, as you can see here. And then it's going to be going through. It's going to be reiterating through that um, multiple times until the array has been sorted. So once the array has been sorted, then the, the final result will be displayed over over here, of in line number forty five here, uh, with with this for loop here. So if let's run let's run run through the example code now. If I run through it now, so let's say we enter in uh, we we want the program is, the program has asked us to enter in five numbers, so we'll do four six one eight and 13 and then it will display what the original values were entered in and our bubble and now the results of the bubble sorts array so that is pretty much the bubble sort algorithm implemented in C++ explained and broken down line by line and I hope you guys got a lot out of this video and if you did please smash up smash that like button and click on the red subscribe button down below to get the latest uh, free up free videos from C++ explained.com. Attention computer science and engineering students. Are you tired of falling asleep in class while your lecturer spills that C++ gobbledygook? My name is Sahil Bora and I'm the founder and proprietor of the C++ Better Explained website. What I'm offering you guys today is my 87 page book that outlines how to quickly and easily master the fundamentals of the C++ programming language. So if you've been searching around for free C++ tutorials that haven't made any sense at all, or free YouTube videos that have made you want to gouge your eyes out, my book will put all that rest today. Because my book is written in a straightforward and direct manner that will give you understanding the fundamentals of the C++ language in a matter of days using my, my learning tools such as analogies for dummies, logic made easy, and simple code diagrams that makes learning the C++ language brain dead easy and super fast. The book is $19, so click on the orange button below and pick up your copy today. You will not regret this at all.